just take us through what you saw. You had a lot of time, but yeah. you can take us through that. Uh, well, I think, first of all, um, you know, the, that play doesn't happen without the line. I mean, I think I had about 35 seconds about back there on that play. I was went left, went right, I went through my reads, probably one, two, three, four, five, back to back to one, and then back to Cortland again. Um, you know, I think Cortland obviously has been special all year. You know, he's tremendous work ethic, um, great leader, great teammate. Uh, he's got great hands, can catch everything. And uh, I mean, he did a good job because he was going deep, kind of came back for a second, and then he went deep again, which was uh, a really great play by him. And one-handed, you know, in front of our fans was pretty special. Yeah, our defense has been amazing. You know, the past seven weeks or plus, you know, I think they just they've been unstoppable. Um, they've gotten turnovers and making plays. Uh, we're playing together. Um, I think our leadership on the defense, obviously Justin, obviously Alex Singleton, Josie. There's so many guys stepping up. Uh, I just think you know, and also too, you got to cre credit Vance Joseph. You know, I, I told him in the Bears game uh, at halftime, Coach Joseph. I said, hey, listen, when we came back out at half, I just told him, hey, listen, you, I've gotten gone gone against you probably a hundred times. You're one of the best defensive coordinators I know. And uh, you're one of the toughest guys to go against, and um, you know I, I know that I knew that he could turn it around. You know he's done a good job. But we got more to do, but I think a collective effort. You know from uh, obviously Coach Payton and all the coaches, um, you know the defensive staff, offensive staff, everybody, special teams. We're all doing it together, and that's the best part about this game. It's it's an 11, 11 you know guys on offense, eleven guys on defense, eleven guys on special teams, and then all the guys that are are. are are helping us too, um, whether it's in the game on the sideline, practice, the mentality, everybody's giving their all, and I think it's what's making the difference. Back to, back to the touchdown pass to Courtney just briefly. And you talked about what he did, but he started to come back and then went toward the end zone. I think if I understood him correctly, he said there was something in his head that said top down. And maybe the connection yeah. you guys have developed non-verbally, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I think the non-verbal communication is everything. I think obviously the verbal, but... I think the nonverbal, you know, and, and as we watch film and study film throughout the whole week and the offseason and everything else, just talking about ball. You know, these, these guys, these receivers, these tight ends, running backs, everybody, offensive line, these guys are obsessed with the game. And we get to play with guys like Cortland Sutton who, who cares about the game, the, the, uh, his intellectual understanding of what to do in certain situations, um, really trying to create these great – because the scrambles are going to happen in a game, especially when our line's blocking the way they did today. And, um, you know, he, he, he thought top down, let's go deep, let's take a shot and uh, – you know, I tried to give him a chance, and he made a great play. Yeah, a little, a little something like that, you know. Uh, a little birdie in his ear, I guess. But I just I think the, all the hard work, you know, um, you know, I, I think it pays off, you know, when you practice the right way, when you have the right mentality, um, when guys care as much as they care. Um, but, yeah, I think he, I think he, he said he uh, heard my voice on that play. I'm thinking, you know, top down, whatever. So it was a good play by him. Russell, what, are you, more guys? What, what are your thoughts on Quinn Minards? He had to leave health concerns, but apparently he's doing okay. Yeah, I think he'd be fine. I think you just, you know, our, our training staff, starting with Bo and Vince and all those guys, they do a great job of making sure everybody's okay. Um, and um, you know, I, I think from my understanding, he'll he'll be all right. Russ, big picture wise, how important is it after you guys had that winning streak snap, to come back with a performance like this, especially with the way the AFC is coming down? Straight? Yeah, I mean, it's um, we're in a horse race, you know, and. Um, you know, you're 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 midway to the third, you know, three quarters of the way through, and you got to finish the last quarter strong. I, I think the best thing that we can do is stay focused on us and playing, you know, our best football. You know, I think that's really key. I think the best thing too is as well as is, I told you guys at the beginning of the week. You know, you know, painting a picture that you know the truth is our season, we're, we're five and one over the past six weeks now. Now six and one, you know, and that's we kept telling the guys. Hey, we kept you know talking about that. I kept telling, telling the guys early in the week. You know, that's the reality. That's the truth over the past, you know, seven weeks. You know, now we're six and one. I think that there's great belief. I told the guys in the huddle the la before the last knee, stay, stay humble and hungry. Let's keep going. Uh, we're not even at our best yet, and uh, that's a good thing. Last question, Len Duran, kind of in that vein. How close are you guys? I mean, there was still a lot of plays left out there today. It could have been a much different score. How yeah. close are you peaking now? Yeah, and listen, I think we're, we're, we're steady, uh, you know, climbing. You know, it's, it's climbing a mountain's not easy. Um, you know that there's going to be bumps in the way and there's going to be stuff that um, it's going to try to knock you off. But we just got to stay focused on the, on the peak and stay focused on what we're trying to do, understanding that uh, we're doing this together. It's going to take all of us. It's going to take all of us. It's going to take all of us. We've got to get better, um, you know, and, and starting with me. And uh, we're all going to get better as a, as a collective group. And um, we're going to keep challenging each other to be our best every day. 
And that's, that's like I said, that's practice. We're going to enjoy this win. Obviously, it's a big one, AFC West against the Chargers. Um, a good football team, you know, they, they got a lot of great players. Um, I thought we did this thing together. That was special tonight. Thank you, Thank you guys. Go Broncos. Yeah. Thank you,